booktube it's missy and today i'm here to share with you guys my most anticipated reads for august 2017. uh this list is a little massive i got a very good amount of ya books and then i went to my other website that i check out and i found a ton of adult books that are coming out in August. So I have a total of like 23 books that are coming out in August, which are all very exciting. And I wanted to share them with you. So let me get into position. <laughs> so I have room for my pictures. All right, the very first uh, book that I am looking forward to reading is When I Am Through With You by Stephanie Kuhn. This comes out on August 1st and it's a thriller. I think all of her books are thrillers. I did read her complicit book last month. It was okay. I gave it a three star. Um, and then I do own her Strange and Charming or Charming and Strange book. So uh, I do like her writing. I just think that I wasn't used to the first book, so hopefully I can get into her writing in the other books. So yeah, that's a new thriller coming out by her, and all of her books are really short, so they're easy to read. The next book um, is called The Hearts We Sold, and this is by Emily Lloyd-Jones. This one comes out on the 8th of August, and it's about selling your heart to a demon. I like those kinds of books where they sell their souls or their hearts or whatever. Um, this one's a little bit different because the girl sells her heart to a demon for something, but then she falls in love and she doesn't really have a heart to give to this person, so she's wondering if it'll work out. I don't know all about the details because I try not to go into the synopsis too much. I want to go in books blindly. So there is that one. The next one is called League of American Traders. Now this one sounds absolutely fascinating and I'm not a huge historical fiction reader but this one sounds super good. It's written by Matthew Landis. It comes out on the 8th of August and it's a National Treasure meets Hamilton. Now I absolutely love the Nicolas Cage movies of National Treasure. I don't know why I think it's so fascinating. It just is. It's like a scavenger hunt and he goes from clue to clue looking for the treasure at the end. I absolutely love those movies. Now I know a lot of people are like enthralled with Hamilton. I don't even know what it's about. I know it's a Broadway play. Um, I've seen the guy who you know created it and but I haven't seen anything about it besides the little snippets I see on social media. If you like Hamilton and you like National Treasure, you may like this one. I have my phone here so I don't mess up on the synopsis, but it's about a boy named Jasper who is at his father's funeral and is approached by a man who says that he is the descendant of Benedict Arnold, and the story goes from there. Um, it's very secret. He learns that the father's death was an accident, and for centuries, the heroes have been trying to kill off the traitor families um, in secrecy. And so that right there just sounds super fascinating. I cannot wait to read it. Again, it's a historical fiction, which I don't read often, but I do really like historical fictions. So I'm hoping I will also like this one. All right, the next book on my list is called In Other Lands by Sarah Reese Brennan. Now, I just, I, I have to say that the thing that sold me on this book is one, this cover of this mermaid. It's just a drawing, quick drawing of a mermaid. Two, Sarah Reese Brennan's name. I own one of her series. I've heard that she's a really good author, so I want to read it. And the third reason is because of this synopsis right here. So it's about a boy named Elliot who is a grumpy, nerdy, and appalling dearth of technology. So this is a boy's perspective book. Um, he somehow finds himself in magic land and what I've read from the uh, comments down in you know the little comment section on the reviews is that this is a super hilarious snarky sarcastic book with a protagonist that is just like he he despises where he's at and it just sounds so funny uh it says he finds that two unlikely ideas friendship and world peace may actually be possible uh i was 
I love reading books with male protagonists because teenage boys are always so darn funny anyway. So I'm definitely looking forward to this book. The next book on my list is called Wicked Like a Wildfire. And again, uh, the cover caught my eye first before I read the synopsis. This is by Lana Popovic? Pop? Popovic. I think that's how you say her last name. This one also comes out on the 15th of August. It's about two sisters with beauty gifts. So one of them can create beauty through music, I think, and one can create beauty through manipulation of the, um, like, like plants or something. I think that's what it's called. And this is the first book of the Hibiscus Daughter trilogy. So I like that it's about sisters. You know, I have sisters and that they have um, magical powers that intertwine with beauty. So I thought that sounded fun. The next book on my list is called The Arsonist and this is by Stephanie Oakes. It comes out on the 22nd of August and Stephanie Oakes also wrote The Sacred Lies of Mino Bly, which I also own one of her books and I haven't read it. Again, story of my life. I should just have that as my hashtag story of my life because I own a lot of books with authors and then I buy the, the books that they have written later in the future because I already own them even though I don't know if they're good or not. I can't help myself. Anyways, this sounds good because it's about two kids from two different backgrounds and they have to solve a decades old murder. So one is a normal teenage girl and the other one is a Kuwaiti immigrant with epilepsy. <laughs> Two random people that come together and they have to solve this crime, which sounds fascinating. So I want to read it. The next book is <sighs> My Heart. It's The Dire King by William Ritter. This is the fourth and final book in his Jacoby series. Look at this cover. I'm so sad that the series is over. I am so in love with these books. The author is just amazing. His writing is brilliant. I could go on and on. It's a great paranormal mystery um, series. And I'm just really sad that it's coming to an end. But yes, this one is coming out on the 22nd of August. The next book I'm interested in is called The Rattled Bones. And this is by S. M. Parker. It also comes out on the 22nd of August and it's a paranormal mystery thriller. That's all I know. I don't want to know any more than that because mystery thrillers usually have like something that interests me and then I don't want to read anything else of the synopsis. So just know another mystery thriller is coming out and it's called Rattled Bones and this is the picture. Uh, the next one is called All Rights Reserved, and this is by Gregory Scott Katsoulis. Katsoulis. Um, this one comes out on the 29th of August, and this is a sci-fi dystopian. This one sounds really cool because it is about um, a dystopian world where once you reach a certain age, I think it's like 16 or 17, everything that you say is now... Uh, you have to pay for it. So you can talk all you want up until you're about 16, 17. And then once you have that birthday, anything you say is then um, charged. So if you say hi, there someone has the rights to that word. And so you have to pay a dollar for hi, a dollar for this, a dollar for that. And then people, because they speak so much, end up getting in debt and then becoming slaves to the corporation who charges people for all of this. It's very strange, super freaky. I would hate to have this happen since I'm such a motor mouth. That would be devastating to me. Um, but our main character decides to stay silent instead and what repercussions happen because of that choice. So sounds very exciting. The last uh, YA book on this list is called Book of Shadows, and this is by M. Verano. Now, you can't see it because it's below the camera, but there is Diary of a Haunting here, which was my absolute fave of M. Verano. And then I read her, him or her, I don't know. The author is in the book, so it's not, it's like a Lemony Snicket kind of thing. That's not the author's real name. M. Verano 
is a psychologist historian thing in the books and that also the author of the books the author of the books am I making any sense so I really liked the first book in this series the second book possession wasn't my fave I gave it three stars and then I let one of you lovely subscribers have it and now the third book is coming out and this cover is awesome looking um so yeah I all I know is it's called the book of shadows I don't know anything else about it I do like M. Verano's writing, so I'm definitely going to pick this book up. On to the adult books. Now, most of these are going to be thrillers, and I'm just going to say it's a thriller. So pick it up if you like thrillers. The first book is called Are You Sleeping? And this is by Kathleen Barber. This one comes out on the 1st of August. And it says it's a podcast um, that reopens a murder case. So... There's a podcast going on. They're talking about a murder case, and that makes it reopen. Uh, it says that it's kind of like In a Dark, Dark Wood by Ruth Ware, which I did enjoy. So I'm looking forward to this one. The next book is called The Grip of It, and this is by Jack Jemp, J-A, or J-E-M-C. I don't know how you pronounce that last name. But it also comes out on August 1st, and this sounds amazing because it's a horror story with haunted houses. That's all I care about. Haunted houses, horror. This is the only horror book in the entire 23 book uh, list, so I'm looking forward to this one. The uh, next one is called A Killer Harvest, and this is by Paul Cleave. I have heard of Paul Cleave. I even passed a book at the library bookstore today written by Paul Cleave. So let me know down below if you enjoy his writing. This one is called, like I said, A Killer Harvest. It comes out on the 1st of August. It's a thriller mystery about a blind teenager who gets a new set of eyes. So I am assuming that the new eyes are going to do something freaky. Like maybe she's got killer eyes and then she can see situations where the killer killed people and she has to help solve a crime. I don't know, but it sounds awesome. I love it. Then we have The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. Um, I see this author all the time. I've never read anything by her. And this one is a crime mystery thriller and it comes out on the 8th of August. The next book on my list is called Emma in the Night and this is by Wendy Walker. It comes out on August 8th. It is a mystery thriller about two sisters that go missing. So uh, this is a very cliche story. I've heard it a million times. Two sisters, two brothers, two friends. They go in the woods. They go off somewhere. One comes back. The other one doesn't. But I still am intrigued in all these different stories. I want to know why they both went in and what happened and so forth. So definitely looking forward to this one. And the next book is called Ordeal. And this is by Jorn Lair Horst. I think that's, I'm totally butchering that name, I'm sure. This one also comes out on the 8th of August. It is a Nordic noir mystery crime. This is the 10th book in the series, though. And when I looked up on Goodreads, this was the only book that was translated. So let me know down below if, one, I have to read the other books before I can read this book, and two, if you know that these are translated into English from the beginning of the series. I don't think it matters. A lot of the times with crime books, you can go into each book as if it's its own book, even though the characters kind of progress in the storyline. Each case is different, so it doesn't really matter. At least that's what I'm hoping. Let me know down below. All right, on to the second page. I know, so many books this month. Okay, the next book is called The Doll Funeral. I was hooked by the title, The Doll Funeral, by Kate Hammer. I think that's how you say her last name. It comes out on the 15th of August. This is a mystery thriller, and this has two book covers. I don't know why. It came out last month in this cover, and then it, it's coming out next month in this cover. So they kind of look similar. I don't know. It's different color um, on the cover, but they're pretty similar in what they have on there. They're both trees or flowers or something. Of course I don't have the pictures in front of me so I'm trying to remember. 
from the pictures that I remember seeing last time. Like I said at the beginning when I was going over these new adult books, most of them are going to be mystery thrillers and I didn't really read into the synopsis so you're just going to hear mystery thriller. Then we have A Stranger in the House by Sherry LaPera. This one comes out on the 15th of August and this one is also a mystery thriller with two different book covers so tell me which one you like better below. The next book on the list is called A uh, Unraveling Oliver. This is by Liz Nugent and it comes out on the 27th or excuse me the 22nd of August and this is a psychological thriller. Then we have The Other Girl by Erica Spindler. This is a book that comes out on the 22nd, 22nd of August. It's a ritualistic murder mystery thriller. Um, ritualistic is always fascinating because it has to do with maybe cults or witches or what have you so that sounds cool. And then we have two more. The second to last one is called Everything We Lost by Valerie Gary. This one also comes out on the 22nd of August and it's about a lost brother and an alien and a desert. I don't know how all of those go together but that sounds really fascinating. And the very very last book of this uh, most anticipated reads list is called Seance Infernal and this is by Jonathan Scarryton. It comes out on August 29th and it's about the very first film and the very first film maker and how there is it vanished and people are trying to look for this first film that was created. Um, it's a mystery so that's exciting. I like uh, books about movies or actors and actresses so I'm looking forward to this one and that is it that was my very long most anticipated reads for August let me know down below what you are most interested in reading from my list and which ones that you would add down below and that's it I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and I will talk to you soon bye